Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, now I'm back with Cook the Book after a long time. Is it the first one this year? Well, I'll have to go back and check. Anyways, I have chosen a beautiful Isla book called Isla by Santosh Shah. And the reason I've picked it is it's a new book. It's just come out, but it's uh, a feast of Nepali dishes from the Rai Hills and the Himalayas. And I'm super excited because living in India, I've always wanted to go to Nepal and I have not yet been. So this is super exciting. Um, and I've chosen a recipe from here, which I know most of you will like because it's vegan, it's delicious, it's healthy, and it is super simple. So I am making chana ko dal, which is uh, chickpea lentils, and it is this what we are making. So let's get cooking. It's full of vegetable, uh, veg dishes, fish, meat, lots of chutneys, masalas, and this is what we are cooking. Beautiful book. So I have got here 280 grams of chana dal or split Bengal gram. You can find chana dal in absolutely any supermarket. And I'm just adding just randomly some lukewarm water so that the lentils are covered and I'm going to let it sit for one hour to soften up slightly. After an hour, just drain off the water that you had soaked the dal in and then you're going to be left with slightly softer dal. Now the soaking just makes the cooking of the dal quicker because chana dal takes a long time. And now in this drained dal, I'm adding two leaves of uh, two bay leaves, uh, two to three cardamom pods, a, a few cloves and also a stick of cinnamon and then add 1.4 liters of what boiling water to this also a teaspoon of salt um, at this stage and then i'm going to cook this and also half a teaspoon of turmeric which i forgot to mention and like i said a teaspoon of salt Also add uh, two green chilies or a red one to the lentils while you are so cooking this and this is how it is looking is after cooking for around an hour the lentils have softened up beautifully and then we can move on to the next step. Dal is cooked. I will show you. The dal is cooked. So I'm going to take a little bit of the dal from here with the bit of cooking liquid just half it says just take half of it in a blender or a mixer I think that will be quite enough and I'm going to blend this to a smooth puree and this is the puree going back into the dal and that should make it uh, nice and thick but at the same time it's got all this lentils whole lentils and puree lentils so i'm just going to continue cooking this on low heat while i prepare the tempering or the tarka it is really quite interesting because i have not cooked dal with whole spices in it while cooking. I've cooked dal with whole spices once the dal is cooked separately, um, but adding so many whole spices uh, when I'm gonna boil the dal is a bit unusual and new to me. So I am really looking forward to the flavor it brings out. For the tempering, I'm gonna prepare two red onions, finely chopped these. So to make the tempering, I've got a nice hot pan and I'm adding uh, two tablespoon of, uh, I'm using really good quality rapeseed oil. So uh, the recipe is calling for ghee or oil. Now I am using rapeseed oil. I haven't got any ghee at home. If I had actually for this recipe, I love to use ghee for dal because it just goes really well. Uh, but because I haven't got any at home, I am using rapeseed oil. But if you have some, then please do use it. 
So I'm going to add a teaspoon of cumin seeds and a couple of red chilies. Just let it sizzle. Then I'm going to add the chopped up onions. And this is going to take to around 10 to 15 minutes to kind of um, caramelize. And in the meantime, I'm going to prep up a small piece of ginger and a couple of tomatoes. Now this is looking pretty gorgeous. So I'm going to add the grated ginger. Quickly followed by the tomatoes. And this should only take two to three minutes to cook down. It is quite interesting because in this book, um, the chef has shared a few different kinds of garam masala recipes. So there is um, there is the garam masala. There is Nepali um, garam masala. There is chicken garam masala, meat garam masala and um, vegetable garam masala, whole spice garam masala. Now, obviously, um, there are only a few spices different in each of them. And I totally understand because that's going to change the flavor of the dish. I obviously don't have that garam masala right now. I can make it, but I am running out of time. So I'm just going to use the garam masala I have in, um, you know, my homemade garam masala that I use for all the dishes. Um, and that's what I'm going to add to the onion tomato mixture. So at this stage goes in a teaspoon of garam masala. In goes a little bit of um, uh, coriander leaves. And now I'm going to add the dal. And then give it a good mix. Oh, look at that. The last thing it needs is uh, three to four minutes of just letting it simmer so that everything kind of comes together. I think this should easily feed four to five people. It smells so intense because we've cooked the dal with um, whole spices in it. The flavor is going to be so different. So um, the book recommends that you eat it with rice uh, and that's what I would suggest as well because it's so lovely. Or you can have it as soup according to me <laughs> because it's so... Um, kind of hearty and um, comforting and warm. It's very hot, so please do excuse. Mm. Oh, oh, joy. Oh. oh, my goodness, that's like, like, um, kind of soothing my throat and my throat is not even feeling bad but if you have a bad throat this is going to be amazing oh this is lovely i really hope you're going to give this chana dal a go don't forget to subscribe and i will see you back very soon with another new recipe bye for now